Welcome back to our KO writing series. Today we're going to continue our essay writing by writing the introductory paragraph to the essay that we started last week. Now remember, the topic that we will be writing about today and in the next few weeks to come is connected back to our own educational experiences. And the details that we're writing about are being generated from our own personal experience. Please remember that if you are writing the Kale test, when you write the details in your essay, the details will come specifically from the source material on the test in the reading and the listening um, article. Now, just before we get started with the new lesson today, I'm going to take a quick minute to review the work that we've done last week, because we're going to be adding on to that this week. So last week, we started writing an essay. We talked about what an essay is, and we understand that it is a piece of writing that supports one main idea throughout the entire piece. It will contain a thesis statement, which is the answer to the question that you're answering. The essay is a longer piece of writing and it will consist of several paragraphs together that all support that main idea. And there is a very specific structure to follow when you're writing your essay. This is the question that we looked at last week and it is guiding the writing that we're doing. So the question was, what are some strengths of your high school education? Present and support your ideas in a short essay. Write a minimum of 250 words you have 35 minutes to complete the essay. So we're structuring this essay around the same word limit and time limit that you would expect to find on the Kale test. So you will be writing a short essay there in part four of the test. So our essay will hopefully give you some tips and strategies to help you prepare for that piece. So last week, we already thought about the ideas that we wanted to write about, and we've created an outline. And the outline that we created is here before you. So we're creating a four paragraph structure. In the introductory paragraph, we're going to identify the two strengths of our high school education that we wish to talk about in the entire essay. So these two strengths we noted are extracurricular activities and knowledgeable teachers. So in the two body or middle paragraphs, we're going to discuss in detail uh, for the extracurricular activities, we'll list the clubs that we belong to and we'll identify the skills that we learned there to show how they helped support our experience. That's how we are going to show that this was a strength of our high school days. In the second body paragraph, we're going to discuss in detail some teachers that uh, taught us invaluable skills. So we'll identify those teachers and explain what we learned. And we'll conclude by reminding the reader that these are skills that we learned back in our high school days, but that they continue to serve us today in our personal and professional life. So if we do this effectively, we will have proven that our high school uh, certainly had some strengths that are noteworthy. So let's add on to that outline then today by writing the introductory paragraph of this entire piece. So we've already got the outline, we've already got the ideas there, Today, we're going to take those ideas and we're going to write the paragraph, which we call drafting. And once that introduction is written, we're going to read it back and revise it for content. Make sure the ideas are interesting, well supported, and also that uh, all of our grammar and writing skills are as top notch as we can get them. So again, here's our question at the top of our screen, just to keep us focused, remind us what we're writing about. So we need to identify strengths of our high school education. So this introductory paragraph note is taken right from the outline that we created last day. So this is our thesis statement. It identifies the two strengths that we will be talking about. So we have to somehow in that introductory paragraph identify the extracurricular activities and the knowledgeable teachers, but we want to create a sentence or two of interest before we get to those strengths. We want to set the scene, give some background details to introduce this topic. So I think for this question, it would just make sense to name the school that we went to during high school. We can give the location. So if we want to name the city or the country, that would be helpful. And also even the dates that we attended. Again, this will just add interest and help to anchor the, the scene in the, in the reader's mind. 
Now, because we're identifying these areas as strengths, it would be nice to mention somewhere that we enjoyed the high school experience overall. That would make a very nice connection to then identify these extracurricular activities and knowledgeable teachers. Now, even in real life, if you truly didn't enjoy your high school days, for the purpose of answering the question that you are assigned on the test, you're going to have to be a little bit liberal with your truth. You're going to have to answer the question as it's been posed. So if you can't think of your own strengths, unfortunately, you'd have to make them up. But hopefully you've got something positive that you can speak about here uh, when you think back to your own high school experience. So with those background details that we've just mentioned, we're going to take those ideas and just write them down in sentence form. The first ideas that come to our mind. So this is our first attempt or the first draft to get us started with this essay. So let's try this. We can write, I attended Laurentian Secondary School in Hamilton, Ontario from 1990 to 1995. Although the teenage years are typically full of highs and lows, overall, I enjoyed my high school experiences. Okay, there's probably some things in there that I'll change later, but for a first attempt, I think it's pretty good. We've got the background set up, so now we need to get that thesis statement. This is the most important part of the entire essay because it's telling the reader what you will be writing about. So somehow in this sentence, I need to name those extracurricular activities and knowledgeable teachers and get that idea across that they were strengths. So here's my attempt at a thesis statement. This is the green sentence you see. We might try. I had the opportunity to participate in many extracurricular activities and received instruction from knowledgeable teachers, which taught me invaluable skills that I continue to use in my personal and professional life. So there's the, the first draft of the entire introductory paragraph complete. Now remember on the Kale test, you're only asked to write a minimum of 250 words. So the introductory paragraph won't be long for Kale. Three to four sentences is more than enough. So that's what we're demonstrating here. In other essays for college and university, you very likely will have longer introductions. But again, we're going to observe the Kale uh, instructions here. So that's why this is a little bit shorter. So looking at my paragraph, I, I like the content. I think I've established all the relevant details, but I certainly see some vocabulary choices and even some sentence structures that I'm not entirely happy with. So I'm going to revise, I'm going to read through that paragraph again and highlight any ideas that I think I should change. So these yellow highlighted phrases, that first one, highs and lows, I find that quite casual. It's not academic at all. And in Kale, I'm supposed to use sophisticated and precise language. So I'm going to want to think of a way to state that same idea, but with higher level vocabulary. So I'll think on that. And I also note as I read back my work that I've used that pronoun I all the way through my piece. It's okay to use I sometimes because this is about me after all, but if I'm constantly using I, 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 it becomes repetitive. So I think I can rewrite some of those phrases to really uh, make it more varied. And that will impress the raters as they're marking. Now this final sentence here that I've, I've placed red brackets around, this is the thesis statement. And it's really long. It's got so many details that I'm worried the reader is going to get bored or um, have a hard time focusing on the ideas from start to finish. So I really think I would uh, be better ahead to chunk that into two different sentences if I can, just to, to make it easier to read. And I notice here as well that I don't use any language there specifically that ties this back to the idea of strengths. And that was listed in the question. So I'm going to try to add that word or at least that idea in there just to make it a little more obvious that I'm answering the question that was asked. This is really important in essay writing. So let's start with that vocabulary choice then at the top. So highs and lows, too casual. What about something like this? If I were to say that, although the teenage years are typically full of achievements and challenges, that sounds much more academic. So I will leave that. And as I continue, I've got that pronoun I. And you know, this would be an easy fix if I just reverse the structure. I'll take out I 
and I'm going to replace it with my high school experiences were enjoyable. So that uh, it's the same idea, but again, I, I've rewritten it to avoid that repetition. So I'm happier with that. I think my background is set and we'll now tackle the harder part, which is that thesis statement within the red brackets. So let's read through that sentence and look for a very obvious place to end the idea. Chunk it into two parts. So we've got here, I had the opportunity to participate in many extracurricular activities and received instruction from knowledgeable teachers. I'm going to actually stop that first idea right there. Do you see that little tiny semicolon that I've added? It's in green to make it more obvious. So a semicolon, works the same as a period. It actually ends one sentence, but we use the semicolon when those two sentences side by side are more closely connected in content and idea. So I use that semicolon. What that means though is my last sentence has to be a complete sentence by itself. And right now I'm starting that last sentence with the word which. I've got which taught me invaluable skills. And if I start that way, I'm creating a fragment. So I'm going to take out that word which, and I'm going to replace it with a concrete noun to have a subject. So how about this instead? These opportunities taught me invaluable skills and so on. So I've at least solved one problem. I've created two sentences there to, uh, to convey my thesis statement. And again, I, that's making it easier for my reader to grasp my main idea. I've created another problem though, because when I go back to the beginning of that thesis where that red bracket starts, I see I start the sentence with, I had the opportunity. And in my last sentence, I now have these opportunities. So now I'm repeating the word opportunity. So I'm going to have to rephrase one or the other to avoid that repetition. So I think I'd like to change the beginning piece. Instead of, I had the opportunity, I can do this. I was fortunate to participate and so on. Now I've got these opportunities taught me invaluable skills that continue to strengthen my personal and professional life. There, I've solved two problems in one go. I've taken out that final pronoun I and I've added in that word strengthen. So that connects much more clearly now back to the question where I was asked to identify the strengths of my high school education. So here is my first draft complete. It's been revised. Let's read it from beginning to end just to get the flow of the piece without interruption. We want to make sure that everything is as strong as we can get it before we move on to the body paragraphs. So right now it says, I attended Laurentian Secondary School in Hamilton, Ontario from 1990 to 1995. Although the teenage years are typically full of achievements and challenges, overall, my high school experiences were enjoyable. I was fortunate to participate in many extracurricular activities and received instruction from knowledgeable teachers. These opportunities taught me invaluable skills that continue to strengthen my personal and professional life. There, <laughs> I'm happy with the way that turned out. So we'll stop there for today. So far, we've created an outline to guide the ideas in our essay, and we've just finished writing the introductory paragraph. Join me next week as we add in the body paragraphs. See you then.